Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a 1913 Mason and Hamlin A in a hand rubbed mahogany finish. Now, if you guys watch our YouTube videos, you know that Mason and Hamlin is my personal favorite piano. It's what I have in my house. In fact, I have a mahogany Mason and Hamlin in my house. Um, but this one we just finished. Uh, we did a really, really dark mahogany on this color um, and then rubbed it out with a four aught steel wool. We actually polished all the brass. We pulled the plate, refinished the plate, uh, shimmed the soundboard, refinished the soundboard with a new decal, uh, repainted all the tops of the damper heads and replaced all the damper felt, and then we completely rebushed the uh, action and installed new hammer shanks and flanges on the piano, um, all Renner. Uh, we also restrung the piano with a brand new pin block, so this thing is a full, full rebuild. We love Mason and Hamlin A's. As you know, I buy any one I can get my hands on because they're just such sweet, perfect instruments. They're the perfect size. They're only five foot eight from the front to the back, so they fit in most people's houses, and they're just extremely overbuilt, well-made machines. Um, these pianos are really, really fun to rebuild because they can take it. They're overly, overly built. Underneath these pianos, they have what's called a tension resonator that's pulling the rim of the piano in and forcing that crown of that soundboard, which is why we get these amazing, deep, rich, dark, colorful sounds and power out of these smaller Mason and Hamlin. So I'm gonna pull the action and show you what we got going on on the inside now. Okay, so now that I got the action out of the piano, I can show you what we did on the inside. So this is the part that matters, right? This is the part that has to do with how the piano feels and how it sounds. So with this piano, what we did was we just instantly replaced the hammers, shanks, and flanges here with all new runners. Um, we love the runner product from Germany. Um, this is actually what is on the uh, Hamburg Steinways, so the German Steinways. And then we uh, took off every single one of these weapons and sandblasted it, and then we rebushed re it. So what that means is we replace all the felt in the center pin. So every time you have a piece of wood with a hole in it, you have a little piece of metal that goes through it, and it's wrapped in felt, and that's what moves in a piano. So we replaced the pin and the felt, and then we sandblast the wood itself to get off any kind of grime or anything. Um, so like I said, this is a full rebuild. We even put on new back checks and new let off buttons. We rebushed all the keys um, and the balance rail and the front rail. We repainted the sharps. And then we also uh, re, uh, put new key tops on and we veneered the sides of the keys. So when this lid is on and you see the sides of the keys, they do look brand new, but don't be fooled. This is veneer. This is just for looks. Uh, we have the original key sticks still. So I'm going to push this back in and we'll have Nicole play this piano for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like. But if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.